Sorry guys, just sharing the link. Um, welcome in. Blaze, Carlos. <laughs> hey, Crams. Jeez, you guys were in here fast. <laughs> I, I don't even think I shared the link and you guys were in here. <laughs> so, I've had a little bit of a hiatus, not gonna lie. Um, sometimes breaks are healthy. I had intended on streaming sooner, so I do apologize. Um, I did stream a lot during the end of Mario Maker 1. So, anyways, this is my current rank. Uh, the biggest problem right now is number seven is kind of climbing. Uh, he has to have, if I'm not mistaken, over 200 matches to surpass me. So, I'm trying to keep him within 100 wins. So, currently right now, it's a little more than 100. So, um... Yeah, when I passed him, he was number seven, and then he was number eight. So he's kind of been climbing about as much as I've been climbing. Like, I think he accepted that I passed him, uh, and especially now since he has seven back. Um, so yeah, and I'm within a thousand of Intrepid. So that's the status on that. And there's been a lot going on in the uh, high splat. Hi, Ushku. Uh, there's been some, like, stuff going on in the community of Unite where it's like, gold ribbon doesn't matter. Rank doesn't matter. And it's like, I want to point something out about that. You see this rankings board? This is ranking. So if you want to rank in rank, like you want your actual like master and above, like 1600 and above, that type of business, this is what this is right here. So it is, it is right here. So I just, I don't like hearing all the trash talking about this because... How dare I find enjoyment in being number six scissor in the world? And it doesn't necessarily mean I'm the number six in the world, competitively speaking, but it does mean I can find a niche within the game and enjoy it. So my time and effort has been documented and that time and effort is worth six. So, you know, Spraggles made a video about this, about one tricking. You know, like, if we go look at my profile, as much as you might think that I one-trick, I actually am a 60-40. So 7,600 matches in total, only 3,600 of them on Scizor. The rest are on every other month. I have 15 ribbons. Anyways, I'm hearing it all over the place, so I thought I'd take a minute to talk about it. Now let's get into some uh, standard matches if you all are interested. Well, one tricking would be like 80 per I would say 60% and above but I'm more like 60 40 as I just showed like 4,000 so I've played more matches off of scissor than I have on scissor but if you go look at my profile one could go well 3,600 matches on scissor and then my runner-up second place is Sableye with 300 and something and so that's a giant difference but 
I wouldn't say I'm a one trick because I play more of the other mons than I would Scizor. I just evenly do it with the other mons. Whereas, you know, 40% of the time I would play Scizor. Yeah, well, you know, the next season's coming up tomorrow and it tends to be a lull if you ask me, like, towards the end of the season. So, like, I don't blame people for not playing currently. But if anybody wants to join, the lobby ID's there, or you can invite. Otherwise, I'm going to probably just queue up in a couple minutes. Splat, you're welcome to join too, bro. Hopefully... Hopefully you guys can't hear the... They, we got uh, yard work people outside, so I apologize. Nice. Good job getting 1,400. All right, we got Carlos. Anybody else? I'm going to wait like a few more minutes. But yeah, I hope... Uh, have fun. <laughs> I hope you all have had a good week. Um, weekend. Monday. Unite is getting boring. I don't know about that. I would say... I would say Unite... What holds my interest with Unite is um, I feel most connected to Scizor. Right? So, in the mainline games, like, you know, I'm a Scizor trainer, but I don't actually get to use Scizor and, like, beat stuff up with my favorite Mon, and... Unite kind of tickles that fancy, right? So I do think that's that's what maintains my interest in it. And they're fixing rank, in my opinion, slowly. You know, they, they kind of went back and forth on it. Like they banned EXs and then they unbanned them. I think it's fun to watch if there's a, a if there's a niche. So like my kind of niche I think is like my ranking and then um like I sought out coaching from Phil uh Umis and um and so now now I just hold myself to that higher standard but like not many p I mean I'll, there's a lot of people who will go play rank with, like, viewers, but then there's a lot of streamers that don't play rank with viewers, um, like Phil. Phil will keep that to, like, VIP, so people who are membered up. And part of that is the trolling nature of this game. And so, you know, like, there definitely is some toxicity within the Pokemon Unite community. Um, or just the MMR is just bad in that it the matchmaking system doesn't pair appropriately matched skill levels. So, you know, somebody with... Somebody like me, who grinds Scizor outside of rank for my global ranking, I push my win rate up to about 80%, but it doesn't mean I just want... Like, I push Scizor in rank 2 um, 
I'm just more careful and selective when I rank. And, um... Anyways, I lost my train of thought here. I think that, uh... I think that the matchmaking is flawed. But the changes they're making to rank could help. And so, nothing's ever perfect, right? So, we, we're all learning. And similarly, the devs, I'd like to think, are... You know... Like, if we don't like it so much, we could just make our own game. But, you know, I don't want to make a game. I don't know how to make a game like this. So then, that just boils down to appreciation, you know? What's your hobby? You know, why are you spending time on something that you find boring? You know, I would hope that... I would hope that people enjoy this game and that's why they play it. Not that they're... I mean, I don't know what the other reasons would be. You're 1,549... Uh, right now, is that, is that on Blaze? Blaze? Is that on Blaziken? If you really think about it, I have no reason to play the game besides the fact that I like Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, like, that's kind of my reason to play. Um, Crams, um, I just... I can't do, I can't give time to something and not try my best. So that's just my competitive nature. And and watching Phil meant I got better. I play this game because I like Scissor so much. I want a main Scissor in every single game. The only game I haven't played with Scissor is that cooking one. And I might... <laughs> I might look into it just so I can say I main Scissor and everything, but... Yeah, I don't know about that cooking game. What's up, Mar? Yeah, Pokemon Cafe. Yeah. I know Scissors in Pokemon Cafe. And then also Scissors in Pokemon uh, Masters EX now. And I need to clear space on my phone so I can download that. Um... So, like, I'm looking at the map right now, and I'm actually kind of curious why the war turtle didn't just go into the, the jungle, but, like, I'll take it now. <laughs> I'm trying to keep bullet punch going, and I just, I draw a line with my eye. Like, I go from one piece of farm to the next. Yes, there's objectives up, but we're also kind of dominating right now. Like... I try to practice, whether in rank or not, like, good habits, fundamentals. Like what Phil has taught me to focus on. And then it translates to consistent play when I do decide to rank. You know, like, I won't just go damage farm because I'm fighting bots. Like, I'll try to make the right choice. trying to read chat right now it's actually harder than phil makes it look easy to read chat and play i didn't know about pokemon cafe until pokemon presents and stuff yeah like i mean i definitely knew about it for a while but it's just not my cup of tea but like if i'm gonna claim to main scissor on like every game i might have to like check it out yeah, the returning player bonuses are beautiful, for real. It's nice to take a hiatus uh, every now and then, anyways, for mental health. It's kind of what I did. I didn't know I was doing it until, like, it was happening, but I started playing Mario Maker 1 because it 
the server was going down. And then, like, I found myself having fun streaming it. And I was getting... And, by the way, thank you, everybody who supported me during that time. Because uh, I'd like to play more than just Unite on my channel. The Umbreon Battle Pass is coming. Got a 50. This this is kinda this is kinda damage farming. In a week you get free Unite license also. Cool. What, uh, is it limited to us, like, is it specific mons, or do you, which, which ones do you get to pick between Mar? Any free license? I thought it was limited to a few mons. Like, I thought there was a few mons that don't classify, like, in that. Before Tyranitar. See, that's kind of like what I was thinking. But I, mm, I could see them having changed it. They already did, and we could... I can tell based on, uh, like, Phil made an alt account. And so did Spraggles recently um and so they are documenting the changes to the early game like decidui is like one that you can get for free i think which is different than hi akane welcome in yeah, I'm I'm running the the I have to. I, I mean, I'm the scissor main. I this is like I got to do this. I got to wear this. This is the new thing. I still like the night style. Um but I do I like I would say wanderer and night style are like a deadlock. I I don't know which one I like better. They made Pikachu guaranteed free. Yeah. I'm only running rem uh uh jeez I don't know why I tried that I'm only running remote right now cuz uh I just want to work on I I want some guaranteed wins here and then and then I might be inclined to move to Thea I want to get rank 7 within, because I'm, I, as I showed early on, but anyone that missed it, rank 7 is within 100, like, they're, they have more wins than me, but their win percent is far less. They have 53% win rate, whereas I have 83, something like that, and, um, but they have. I want to keep them within a hundred, as far as how many wins more than me they have. So I need to get about six. I think it is wins. And then after that, we can do something else. Pokemon should get a boost if all the teammates have the same Hollowware. <laughs> like an Eevee boost.
Yeah, I seen the next battle pass. So, like, you're saying, like, Greninja Wanderer style, Scizor Wanderers, like, all the Wanderers get a bonus if, if you got a bunch of Wanderers on your team? Yeah, Blaze is saying that would be pay to win. Um... Kinda. I'm not really... Like the Eevee thing? That doesn't bug me. I don't think it's enough that it... Like, I'm not... There's not even, like... There's really nothing in this game that I'm really worried about. Like, I wouldn't even say that I... Am excited for EX as being banned more. Oh, Carlos, you're out. Time to take a break. One match. Stop giving Timmy pay-to-win ideas. I mean, they are a business, so they want to make money. I think that's kind of... It's easy to predict these types of... Like, they made a mini battle pass, for instance, like with Mimikyu. You're old, okay? Imagine being old. Yo, I may be 38 technically, but I feel like I'm 23. Actually. And I never did drugs, so... Like, I kind of look like I did when I was in high school. Don't do drugs, don't drink. You'll stay young. <laughs> you don't know if we can trust him. Yeah, no, Ushku, I kind of agree, but, like, I see what the others are saying. People would just spam that, uh, to... But, like... Alright, we got everybody in. Yeah, I, I stayed clean. Too much of any one thing can be a bad thing. So, like, what am I saying? Like, you can have a drink, you know. You turn 21, you go to the bar, you have a drink. But I would not say... Drinking to get drunk is a good idea. Having a drink will moderation is is key, and and you'll actually your body will benefit from not trashing it like that. But sugar is also a drug. True. Wait, caffeine is. Yep. Sugar's bad. Caffeine's bad. Well, um, not like black coffee is actually like I drink my coffee black sometime. I wouldn't say caffeine. I, w I would say caffeine can be addicting, but I don't think I'm addicted. It depends on who you are. Some people fall susceptible Gosh, how did we get to this point of topic? I started it, I think. Some people have addicting personality. Or, like, they need that type of uh, cope. Coping mechanism. Or social mechanism. Like a cigarette is like a social thing.
opium. Yeah. Plot twist, Mar doesn't eat sugar. Huh. Yo, I want to know... Hi, Anti. I want to know if Splat's in here, if Splat would join us. That's what I want to know. Splat was in here to begin, but... Splat might be quiet now, but... I kind of want to encourage Splat to play with us. Uh, what's up? Uh, weren't you... Is, is best buzzhole in chat? Is... Weren't you Elite Ninja, if I'm not mistaken? Oh, this is Ninja. I, I just... I... There was two edits, Thins and this, and it took me a second. I'm still practicing the whole read chat play thing. Hi, J Jaybird. Jaybird. You guys... Everybody welcome Jabird, and I'm going to share something, whether J Jaybird wants me to or not. They, their coffee is, is championship level coffee. Jaybird's coffee that they make, uh, was in a tournament and it's going to a world tournament now. So, J Jaybird is a coffee champion connoisseur. No, this is not a metaphor. This is serious. Uh, so, I knew this through the grapevine that Jaybird grows coffee. And recently Jaybird shared with me that her friend some, uh, like took her coffee and put it in a competition and her coffee won. Yeah. Make sure Luminosity can't cheat in those tournament tournaments. <laughs> yeah. You guys see the super team that they formed now? I, I thought it was a matter of time with all the stuff going on that uh, Overlord would separate himself from the, uh, the, um, the stuff that was going on. The, all the drama with luminosity and now now they got like this crazy super team with otter how did they cheat again well account sharing is is frowned upon like, just point blank, right? And people in other competitive scenes get banned or disqualified for account sharing. And so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to dive into more of it. There was other things that were going on. Um, but that that's like one of the main ones.
Yeah, competition does get real at Worlds. Uh, I don't need to break that one. See, I was reading and almost just instinctively dumped 9 on 9, and that wouldn't have been good. Blaziken is account sharing. Yeah, if you guys want in, just say so. I'll get you in on the next match. Uh, I think Murr's up tomorrow, so I'll try to get back to to Murr, to the regular grind. And then um, I want to try soon to, do, to continue the scissor lock. Because what I really want to do with the scissor lock is once I'm done with Brilliant Diamond, I want to push scissor in other games. Because, like, bo scissor by himself is a challenge, but I want to show, like, how I use scissor competitively. So, uh, that's kind of what I mean. Like, I could start a... A game like we could vote on what game to start and then I would find like in sword and so uh never mind not sword and shield but in uh, scarlet and violet I know how to I know where to catch um, Scyther early on Hello, is that Wild Dan? Did I say that right? I forgot to ask, how's the audio? Is the game audio fine? Versus like my, uh, my mic. Oh, hi Splat. Splat, we want to get you in games. <laughs> I want to play with you, Splat. to dine. Uh, I didn't. I'm recalling. I guess I'm level 15. It doesn't quite matter. Why are we... Why wouldn't the A9 go...
confused why A9 didn't go top, but whatever. Green Ribbon Buzz and Blue Ribbon Scissor. Nice. I was reading and let this person score. Or bot, whatever it is. Mar is trolling. Mar likes trolling. You gotta go now? Later, Mar. All part of the plan. GG's. Splat, you should join us. A green ribbon buzz. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Splat has graced me with his presence in a game. I think Mar is IRL had to go, so I'm gonna just do that. <clears throat> if anybody else wants in. Okay. Anti. We'll probably get a five stack with this type, so if we can get one more, it'd be good. Yeah, Mar, Mar has a little uh, sibling, so Mar could potentially be handling some IRL thing. All right, is this it? We're gonna have one rando. Anybody else? Ninja, uh, Jaybird. Yeah, you can join the IDs right there. Just uh, don't troll and or throw, cause I'll reserve the right to uh, to boot. <laughs> Not saying you'll do that, but, uh, who's y'all's ace? Well, mine is Scizor, as you can see in the title, rank six. Score Cinderace. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just start. Unless Wild Dan was going to join. Got to say something before this queue. <sighs> we got to keep it moving for the watch back. Wait. All right, Ushku. Decidueye or Chandelier. Nice. Yeah, uh, and if you go to the beginning of the stream, you can see um, I go over... I kind of go over my stats in the beginning of the stream, so... You can see everything I main and the percents. Okay, uh, just so everybody knows, after the first round of jungle, 
if somebody needs it looks like we're all all rounders oh boy and we're all stacking <laughs> I don't know I've never <laughs> I might um Should be fine. What the heck can go wrong? What I was going to say is if you see jungle up and you need levels, don't mind stealing it. You can take it from me. If all goes well, generally I'll just go into the opponent's jungle after the first gank. I figure if I communicate that ahead of time, then people know. It's a bot match anyways, yeah. This is where habits are made. So even though it's bot matches, like, I still... Oh, I should have left those for you guys stacking. My bad. There's some uh, points over here, Splat. I'm early for this rotation. Actually, just recall. So you heard that the target wheel was bugged like a year plus ago and never heard if it was fixed. Is it working just fine for me? Uh, I'm going to be honest. What I do with the tar I don't even use it. What I'm actually using it for is to like if there was a an enemy in a bush right and i can't physically see it uh the targeting system actually picks up that the person is near so what i'm using it for is to count like if i don't see a head on the map then i'm using the target wheel to identify where somebody is so i i tend to use it for that more than i actually use it your game is lag. I may use the target wheel like on occasion, but I tend to use it more for the thing I just said. Like it will alert me that somebody's within, like even if they're not seen, if they're close, like one of their faces will highlight. Like, let's see if I can get it to, everybody's killing everybody. Let's go down here to Mime. Like, I can see Mime on the map just fine. But, like... Okay, so... There. Like, once they're within the screen... Field of vision, like... They highlight on the wheel, so I can... Even, like, Sableye in its, uh... In its, um... What is it? Ability? Like, I think even Sableye highlights. 
Oh, uh, later, Ninja. Thanks for hopping in. Appreciate you joining. I do not want to go down here. Yep. I'm recalling. Yeah, but, um, Akane, as soon as I learned that the wheel, like, works the target wheel works that way like i put it on and i haven't took it off it's kind of annoying like i used to wonder like <laughs> why even have it but once i learned that it could be used as a way to identify who's close even if you can't see them and they're in a bush like i couldn't like unhear that so I, I just use it for that purpose. I finally go down. I probably didn't need to pick the fight. Hello, Nico. Nico. I always mess up your name. I get it right, but then I doubt it, and then I say the other one. back capping and stopping the Rotom so just shred
This is probably a fight I should not stay in. Like, I'd be dead if this is real people. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna die anyways. I... Maybe we get a new map. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like they're making... Like, if you look at what they're doing in the Chinese beta, I feel like that they're setting the game up for the next console. So, we're getting like... Because, like, if you look back last year and what we got last year versus where we're at this year, like, I think we had Comfy, Lapras, Leafeon... Umbreon. Like, we had a lot of things, like, in a short amount of time. Zacian. And, like, this year we have, like, we got Maridon, and then Phalanx is coming, and Cerulege is coming, but not yet. So it's like, I kind of feel like, yes, but it's not going to be in this current state of the game. Like, it's going to be in whatever. So, like, I think that this game will update and it will be crot. So it will be on the Switch still, but there will be a need to get the next console. I, I'm not quite sure how they work that out, but it's on mobile, so, you know, I think they retain everything from this game, but haul it over. Hello, Ushku. <laughs> Hi, Fiend. Yeah, Phalanx looks fun to play. Splat, we're waiting for you, my friend. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I would like a new map and i think like i i even heard remote should be going to rank like th this has been a long time that i've heard this but uh i i don't know i think any new thing they do actually is gonna be this is my take is that any new thing they're working on in the chinese beta is actually for the next console or like what they plan the, if there's going to be a giant update and then they will they'll have a like you know like uh, the score there's supposed to be a scoreboard so you can see the points um like a lot where typical autonos or ndds are there's going to be like other reggies rotoms like Way more objectives, way more, like... Like, I think even there was a picture of... Uh, what is it? The dragon lecky? Dra uh, I forget what it was. Yeah, you can play anybody, Ushku. You're good. Yeah, Reggie Drago. Thank you. Thank you, Akane. I, it was... Parent brain. Sometimes I forget shit that I really... Shouldn't.
So it looks like Splat likes uh, Mimikyu. Yeah. I'm ganking top first. It's not even a gank, it's just scoring. Alright, I'm gonna rotate bottom. I'm gonna steal whatever farm I can on my way. Looks like their buffs were starting to come up, but I wanted to make my presence known down here too. I'm gonna just let it go. I don't want to go that far into the flux. Nice port to save yourself. Get. There we go. Swords Dance will help. Well, I'm late to my jungle, so I'm gonna just take their jungle. Then I'll probably recall. I should probably recall in a bush and not do that. You have 143 IQ. Shingo is Einstein. Am I smart? Um. How do I put this? Yes, but. Uh. I would. I think Fiend could explain it probably best. You're on a life crisis. I mean... I think I have common sense. And I'm relatively smart about a bunch of things. I may not be an expert on those things. But I know a lot about a lot of different things, and I have a lot of different experiences that I can, like, draw meaning out of, and it, I can pull meaning out of practically anything. Um, Yeah, Fiend's helping me here. He says, I have an impeccable ability to notice detail and consider many possible solutions and a unique angles others might not. I would agree with that. So, like, I... W so, Fiend... Fiend will look up the stats and is, like, about the numbers... And I'm more about, like, consistently doing something over and over again. And then I feel, uh, like I lend to think a certain way. And then when you match that with what the stats would say, it tends to be right. So it's like you could call it intuition, I, I suppose. Um... But yeah, Fiend and I go two different ways, but end up at the same point. 
just different kind of ways of reasoning. <clears throat> I'm going to go for this top one for points. If Buzz ever gets nerfed, I have no idea who to main. Yo, I'm a I'm a freaking die here. This is not good. That was not good. I was re in my defense, I was reading and I have to get better at the whole playing and reading at simultaneously. So this is also why I'm not ranking with everybody just yet. But I'm trying to practice the, like, if I'm playing this, I could be streaming. I'm still considering your question, um, Buzzwool, Ninja. I mean, I think it depends on your play style, but I would say, so like what Buzzwool has going for it, it is it doesn't have to evolve and it's just online fast. And Scissor's kind of like that. Um, it only has one evolution, so probably something that's just impactful early. And so, like, Azu is also a good option. Um, I wouldn't say Azu is meta, like Buzzhole is meta. But you would probably want to lean towards... You know, like, I, I, I just play everything, um, or try to. I have that... I recently got the achievement for getting 15 ribbons on... 15 mons and so those 15 mons are all mons that i like or have an interest in um but like the more mons you play the better you understand how to counter like every single mon and so when somebody asks like i main buzzful what should i main if it gets nerfed well like i played so like it's a it's a kind of a complicated question cuz there's many ways to answer that question. So like one way is like how have I played Scizor? And whether Scizor was meta or not, I played Scizor. Right? So even when Scizor wasn't good, I played Scizor. And so there's that. So like if you really like Buzzwool, just stick with Buzzwool. And you'll be better for the buffs when you get buffs. Uh, kind of like Scizor just got buffs. And I was fine with Scizor before. And I think I'm better for the buffs. You know. <clears throat> so. But then, but then there's like, who is kind of like Buzzle. And there's a few, like... One could say Mewtwo, but, you know, I don't know. Playing an EX is kind of cringe to some, so maybe you don't gravitate towards Mewtwo. But if you like Mewtwo, then, you know, like Mewtwo X, uh, you know, Scizor, Azu, anything that doesn't evolve, I would say, and has a... A relatively impactful early game is probably something you want to lean towards if you're saying buzz is your favorite and on that note I would also say you should try defenders um, you know defenders are really can be impactful early game and you know the ones specifically the ones that don't you know evolve
Phalanx, no Evo, and comes out on the 25th. I don't know how he plays, though. If you really like Mon's play style, I suggest playing it no matter state of the Mon. Yeah, that's what Blaze just said is like what I was starting to say. Isn't Cinderace isn't the greatest right now, and you can still rock someone's shit from time to time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Mewtwo. Yeah, uh, so Elite Ninja if, or best Buzzful in chat because you're him. If you're not against playing an EX, like you, you could just pick up Mewtwo. Mewtwo X. I have to kind of go look at them to answer this question, though. Uh, GG's, everybody. Phalanx is, is really... Okay, Splat, thank you. Standard is funny, Ushku. That's it for you, too. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm a champ in Mamo. Yeah. Yo, let me <clears throat> let me give this a hard look. Okay. <clears throat> Buzzful. So I think you would like Trevenant. Possibly Aegislash. Uh, I don't really want to recommend it, but possibly Titar, possibly Ursh uh, Urshifu, possibly Mimikyu, Azu, Scizor, Mime, Machamp, Absol. Now, Absol's not tanky and doesn't do things that uh, Buzzwell does, but it's online fast and it has a presence, so... Like, I'm just kind of rolling with that, but I would say Trevenant is a good, like, the, okay, so these, so, like, when one is nerfed, the other probably isn't. The One is buffed and the other's nerfed, probably. And so, like, if you get, like, if you round up, like, f three or four of these, so you got, if you go, like, Mewtwo... Gyarados is actually another one. Trevenant and Buzzful. Maybe Mimikyu. I think you would have a... I mean, they're all kind of different. They're all in the same category, but I would think you would want a defender. Like, so Trevenant is good, but another defender that would be good is like... Like Blaze was saying, Mamo, because of the mechanics. Machamp, because of the mechanics. So that's a lot of different answers, but, like, so if you... I I have, like I was saying, 15 ribbons. So I, I, I can... I feel confident with all of these, right? And so if Scizor gets took... You know, I don't really care. Like, I can be Mewtwo, I can be Gudra, I can be Crustle, I can be Zorark, I can be Slowbro. Oh, later, Ushku. Yeah, Buzzwell, until Buzzwell gets a nerf, I would also agree with that anti. Yeah, submission. Machamp is good. Anyways, I'll stop looking at this stuff uh, for now. I hope I kind of answered that question. I would say, I would, I would say the number one recommendation would be Trevenant. That would be my number one recommendation for Ninja, for Ninja's original question. You focus on. I've missed this, but I'm gonna read it. He focuses on carry Pokemon because in rank players are so bad. I have no other choice but to carry. I can't choose support or my team will be. Yep. Yeah, I get that. Trevenant, you can carry with Trevenant. Especially if you're double stacking. Oh, 
Why does Buzz have the CC of a defender and a damage of an all-arounder? Yeah, that's a good question. Also, you request to join. Okay, yeah. Uh, thanks again for Splat joining. Um, yeah, it was it was fun. And I hope I answered Elite's Ninja's question. I would say Trevenant Mimic you. Um, Trevenant is the number one thing I think, though, because it's a it's a different it's a change of role, but it kind of your your presence is still impactful, and you can kind of do a lot of things with Trevenant, so you can be what the team needs you to be with Trevenant. That's kind of... Uh, and it's it's impactful early. How is everyone now that you actually think of it? I'm pretty good, thanks. I lost count, but I need six wins. When I get those six wins, I'll move out of jungle and scissor. I just like to be online fast is why I go jungle with scissor, but I don't mind sharing jungle. Yeah, but uh, I hope that helped, Ninja. I would say it's always good to have, like, a repertoire of mons you can play. It's, it's good to have a favorite, because you can kind of learn fundamentals through your favorite. And then, then that will... What you're learn Playing one mon consistently... Or, like in my case, I play Scissor 40% of the time, despite what it looks like. It might look like I'm, like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, might look like I one-trick Scissor, but I honestly only play it about 40%, whereas I play everything else a lot more. Um, but in my time spending playing Scissor, I've had to learn how to counter everything. And so... As long as you're not brain dead and you're like being mindful about what you're doing and you're not just playing on autopilot is what I mean rather than calling it brain dead. But if you're paying attention to the map, you're map aware and you're working on fundamentals like I'm going from one piece of farm to another. I'm not really gunning for the gank like I'm watching the map and then I assist here but like you know I don't claim to know more about this game than the next person I just know what Phil's taught me and I hyper fixate on that and then I watch Phil routinely, and then I, I emulate his good habits. And and Phil will tend to hyperfixate on farming. And some people disagree with that, or that he's not there for the the team fights, or you know, like he might leave top four uh, v five and he hangs bot, but. It's better to be able to defend against something and quite frequently when a team is predictable 
in that they all five stack together to one objective, then you're leaving the other side high and dry, and it's susceptible for a back cap. I would like to play in a way that's like unpredictable. I don't want to be, I don't want my, I don't want my teammates to predict me. And I would say Phil kind of naturally does that. Yeah, I mean, the most important fight in the game is the two-minute fight. So, you know, far like, it's eight minutes of farming and then a two-minute fight. You know, like, I care about the wins. I don't really care about how many KOs I get and stuff like that. And how this translates to playing against real people is everything could be going wrong and because I'm focused on farming, then th I can, the, the match becomes like a dance where, or a pendulum if you will, where it swings one way and then it swings back. Like it can only swing that one way so long, you know, so I think it's like a, a kind of like a dance where there's a rhythm to it and the people that take an early lead are susceptible to lose that lead if they're just hyper aggro pushing tier two for no freaking reason like if you're ahead you have no business pushing tier two like it's just and i mean we kind of are here and we're kind of getting in a way with it but, like, if this was rank, like, we wouldn't be pushing tier 2, I can tell you that. But having multiple m mons is, like, learning the game through one mon is great. And then having other mons you can play is even better. Ten second delay. Uh, you're welcome, Ninja. So yeah, I think like I think my streams can synergize with Phil's streams. Like I'm not going to stream when Phil is streaming, and I'm also not going to be doing as much rank as he is. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to rank. I'm just going to focus more on the fundamentals and the like my ranking, my scissor, encouraging others to do the same thing by teaching how I did what I'm doing and I don't think it's wrong to grind quicks like I, I think you can practice fundamentals I think Michael Jordan like I see these people here on the map I was thinking one of them was gonna try to yoink this I think fundamentals translates, whether it's quick or remote or the uh, whatever standard. Like you, so Michael Jordan practiced shooting, practiced layups, practiced shooting. Like he didn't play in the NBA finals like every single day, right? He didn't play a game every single day of his life. Like, but he probably practiced, you know, for way more For as much time as he spent playing the game, like he, you can double that, and that's how much time he practiced. So that's kind of like the way I view Unite, because it's a team sport, and it, it's like this is practice. But I'm getting something out of the practice too, like my my standing as 
rank six scissor is affected by this practice. So that's kind of my view. And it differentiates myself from other streamers because you can just go and do a lot of Unite streamers streams and they're ranking with subs or um, in Phil's case, he's high competitive. So there's team, there's like scrimmages, customs. I'm early, but I mean, I'm 15, so. I'm not sure if these are bots or not, but I tend to not concern myself with it. <clears throat> I just try to practice the the habits. Blaze usually tells me if they're bots or not. So like in rank, recalling is the right thing, so I recall, defense, I would, in this situation, I give the tier 1 and I just stay on the pad and defend the tier 2s. They're bots. Uh, I'll just go top, or you went top, I'll go bot. My controller just drifted or I don't know at least I can read chat now you think they beat us by a lot could Zard always ult farm yeah chart that is uh, in essence what I mean, I've heard Chris Heroes say this, but I think about I th I think it's right, which is like Charizard is just basically farming for alt, then alting something, then going back and farming for alt again, rinse and repeat. <laughs> I hope I'm not boring. Boy, I, I don't see... Maybe it's because we're playing and that's why there's nobody talking in chat. But I hope it's not because I silenced chat with my boring rant. You saw him manhandle a crawdont? before zap could you does does zar zard can't alt a piece of farm is if that's what you're asking i don't think zard can alt a piece of farm yo i need to see how many am i off oh i'm at 3000 guys so I need two more. I got 3,000 wins. That was the 3,000th win with Scizor. That's kind of crazy. You're just pretending you can work and watch stream at the same time. <laughs> Your D's stuck forever, 13 Umbreon. Hey, like, if I was working and I could have something, in, like, 
I either listen to music or listen to a streamer when I'm doing something. It's it uh it keeps me like productive if that makes sense. If I'm just working on something and I don't have like something in my ear uh I I don't know. It's it's there's something about music that's productive. And listening to somebody speak on something is also, like, fills that same thing that listening to music does for the brain. You want to be top Saru Edge? Saru, like, I have a lot of favorites, if you will, but... Cerulege is also one of my favorites. I, I'm not going to try to be top at it. I, I think stay, maintaining my rank with Scizor is enough for me. But I do I do want to play Cerulege a lot. Because uh, Cerulege is like my favorite. Like, okay, if you think about Scizor and how much I like Scizor... Cerulege is like a really good complement to Scizor because it it can eat those fire attacks with flash fire, right? And then it can set up like really good. And so Cerulege is is a really cool uh, like mon. So like my competitively, like I can U-turn into it. Uh, Garchomp is also one of those that's really good with Scizor. Shout out to Mar for dying and coming back to life. <laughs> Welcome back, Mar. You usually do some lo-fi music when you work. Yeah, I do. I do the same thing. Jaybird. I kind of want a Scyther, but this is not a good match for Scyther, I don't think. Like, I see I see Crustle and Blastoise, and I think, nah. I, I'll, I'll go Scizor. Typo, Nar. I might buy Umbreon Battle Pass. I don't know. I, I I'll probably say I did just buy the Scizor thing. I I'm, I'm not sure if I'll buy it. If I buy it, it's gonna be for the rewards more than it is for anything else. Like, I don't know if you all ever seen, but I own the, I got the Mewtwo battle pass, but I never wear the Mute. The, I never wear that outfit. I'll, I'll run Mewtwo, uh, without a skin. It'd be the same with Umbreon if I got that battle pass. Average, <laughs> I stonks. Average gaming experience. Eh. Uh. 
We're just average chill here. You'd be level 69 by 420. <laughs> How's it going in Australia? What time is it for you? Did you just wake up? I overstayed my welcome. <laughs> Talking about fundamentals and I go and do that. Coming top. I know I'm delayed communicating, but just die, bro. This is not a match I can win. We got to get him off of his pad. I'm going to die. 9.54 down there. You call next? All right. I am heading bot because I do want to keep this tier one. If they get that up there, we'll just, I mean, I'll recall and defend. Looks like they're going to get it. Don't push it, just I'm in a farm. He wants to fight on the pad, or he wants to fight with his friends. D. Dang, we're actually... Maybe a questionable Unite there, but um, I might be able to farm it back. We'll see. I don't know. Well, Naminsky, we got Stonks up next. Uh... We'll see if we can get you in. Uh, that was not good. That was... 
snapback is annoying. Okay, I'm gonna leave the Blastoise. I think we gotta shred it. Nice. Six. I don't know if I'm going to stop it. Dang, dude. <clears throat> I know you were defending the bottom tier, but this is why the pad's a better option. They should give Titar a farmer's outfit for Larvitar and Pupitar since that's all he does. <laughs> it's funny. VR is painful. You're running away from people that are that you randomly punch the wall. Eventually I'm just gonna bust a hole in the wall. GG's. GG's anti. Good job on your buzzwool. Uh, GG's blaze. D. Akane. Interesting. Nemensky, we'll see. <clears throat> I got Stonks wanting to join. Basically, you're you're asking somebody to to leave, and so I just want to be respectful with that. Thank you, D, for swapping out. your game crash twice. Nominsky, be patient. We'll see if we can get you in. Uh, I think this generally runs its course. Like, you know, everybody in here is pretty pleasantry and they were good about rotating. So, like, I think you'll get a turn. You kind of came in, like, right as Stonks you asked, like, right after Stonks did, so we did just get Stonks in. D did, did just rotate out, even though she didn't get to play much, so we'll work you in. Okay, Stonks. See, Naminsky, that's like two or three matches at most. And then there's already a spot open up. I think I can actually play something else now. Maybe, maybe this is this. This is the one I need. <clears throat> that was if if I'm remembering correctly, that was three thousand and one. So then this would be three thousand and two, and then I would be in range of a hundred <clears throat> from uh, my target. Excuse me. 
then I can pl I can start playing other things like Defender. You're hungry, but you don't feel like getting up to get spaghetti. What do you do? Uh, I guess the question is, how hungry are you? Are you hungry enough to get up even though you don't want to? Spaghetti sounds good, though. Who let Anti cook? Okay, anti. I would probably Mar. I would probably go get the spaghetti. I'm gonna leave one piece of farm in the jungle so I'm in lane early but because I left that one piece I'm not scissor just yet there we go Okay, I'm headed top. Dwebble. Trying to be mindful about stacks. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are who is stacking or is fully stacked or not, but I'm trying to leave the uh, Aos energy. I should have paid more attention to the builds before the match. Farm is this way now. Objective. We are dominating. I think Mars capping.
trust. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I trust. Well, this is, uh, yeah, spaghetti is delicious, bro. Like, if I was you, I would have went for the spaghetti. I'm not gonna lie, like, I really, I'm doing more, like, I used to be, like, only potion on scissor but now i'm like starting to do x speed or even shed ninja doll more and uh you might wonder why shed ninja doll and it's because i look at it as like a full heal but like more utility because <clears throat> full heal is like only a half a second i i honestly think full heal needs to be buffed especially the more mons they they release that have like more CC feels like everything has CC and uh, so I actually think like a it's surprising I remember the last time full heal got touched it was a nerf to it and it's surprising to me like I think full heal needs a buff actually but um, potions low cooldown of 30 seconds is why I like potion just because mathematically you get it more often and it's free HP and it scales with you and it's like it's not the flashy item to use and it's not even the meta item to use but it works if you use it right so like using it outside of battle and stuff but I'm thinking about this because as you guys saw the guard chomp almost ate me alive down there in my 1v1 in engagement and part of it is because i'm recalibrating because i i used to be a potion only main with scissor but i'm doing x speed so i can x speed full healer shed ninja doll so i can go scyther or scissor like reserving the right to choose between them i think is is important Yeah, I, X Speed is, I, I think, like, I used to not like Shed Ninja Doll, but the more I think about it, Shed Ninja Doll is like a full heal, kind of. And then when you, when you leave, you have, like, so if you're not, a, if, let me be clear, if you're using it to avoid death, you're using it wrong. So, like, if you use it the same way you would use full heal, so to avoid CC and then the sure a kill except you might think well full heal keeps you in the battle shed ninja doll like takes you out of it if you use it at the right moment you can avoid cc then your moves uh are off a cooldown when you proc out of the shed ninja doll and so that's kind of the idea of using it like a full heal um and forgive me if you guys are already aware of this and i'm just but Yeah, in my defense, I'm still calibrating to not using potion. And sometimes, like, potion would just... Sometimes I'm too reliant on it for as many games as I played. So I have one... So I played 3,600-something with Scizor. And I would say probably 70% or more of those probably 80% have been with potion
we're absolutely winning this. Good golly. Like, what was even that other bot match before? <laughs> That's funny. FPS is doo-doo. Yeah, it happens sometimes. You count things with a slow or stun on one hand. Okay, Akane, thank you for joining. And also, thanks for uh, joining the stream. I appreciate it. Appreciate you playing a few matches with us, too. And the Minsky, you can get in now. I am out of coffee. I need more coffee. D, are you lurking? I need coffee. Please. I need to check when, uh, Phil goes live, I'm assuming it's six. Yeah, six. So we'll, we'll, uh, yeah, coffee. <clears throat> D, if you're lurking, I'm summoning you. Stonks, come on. <laughs> Iced Italian dark roast mocha. Bro, come make me one of those. When, uh, when Phil goes live, I'll end stream. And then we'll, we'll send our viewership to Phil. That's too many words. <laughs> nah, bro. Okay, I am 100% sure I can play something else now, so I'm going to. My next ribbons are either Leafeon or Metagross. I'll go Leafeon. Y'all still want lane, huh? Yo, Anti is cooking. I I just saw, I just became aware of. You're close to Green Ribbon on Leaf and Pult. Elder Goss ready for action. All right, let's do it. Le Leafeon and Metagross are my next Green Ribbons. And I like them both enough to there's going to come a point, I've told a few people this, but um, I'm not going to like try to get a ribbon on everything, but I'm going to get a ribbon on everything I like to play. And once I'm there, like I'm going to push all those green ribbons to blue ribbons slowly. So that, that's kind of... So Leafeon and Metagross are like the next ones up. And then probably after that, is Phalanx and Cerulege, but, um, you know, as far as what's in the game right now, um, I'm approaching the end of what I'm interested in playing. 
I probably need to work on a support, so probably Eldegoss and Hoopa are in the foreseeable future too. Like I have a uh I have a tal I, I keep oh gosh, this freaking are you going away or what are you doing? Cram I hate Cramorant. I don't hate Cramorant, it's just, it's like, bot Cramorant is OP, any Cramorant is OP if it... has the right things around it. I need to play less like Scizor right now. Look at this thing just... There we go. Oh, I probably need health. for the I need to recall. Solar Blade is your fave. Yeah, I'm Double Blade believer on Leafeon. I I still can I can do the whole Aerial Ace Razor Leaf thing too, and I even can do the Aerial Ace Solar Blade. But Chlorophyll is just too good to like, so it just synergizes with the Double Blades. Which is why I tend to just be more about the double blade. But as you guys will see, my playstyle, I don't really like um, stacking. Unless there's a, like, Zorark, I would stack on definitely. Um, who else? Gudra. Snorlax. Buzzwool. Like, I, st I stack on those things. But, and I, I mean, there's an argument to stack on Leafeon, but I, mm, I don't know. I've had, I totally missed that Solar Blade, by the way. Don't look at that. Yeah, Buzzwool Leech Life is, is... I mean, I know it's not meta, and Phil would totally, like, tell me otherwise if I was supporting it, but... Leech Life is just insane. I, I cannot stand being, like, locked into one place for more than one second. That that ability is just to overpower. Phil would say it's troll. You're trolling and it's not it's not good. 
and he has his uh, he has his reasons, and I I would agree with Phil. Generally, if Phil says it, I believe it. Why would I question him? But uh, but Leech Life, like you know, when I when I picked up Buzzful, the move set I gravitated towards was Leech Life and Smackdown. I think it is. So both of them, like, they don't necessarily synergize as well as the double brown set. But, like, they both are just irritating. And so that's kind of, like, the reason. I think, you know, I th I think you can make any... If you're having fun and you can make it work, like, I think more power to you. Look at this. Look at this Talon... How'd that Thurston go? I probably need to recall. But I'm gonna back you guys up. God, yep. <laughs> Your Sonic gotta go fast. I'm Mario. Gotta go fast. Mario's gotta jump and punch. And kick. Uh, wall jump. Seems like you guys are keeping them occupied. Uh oh, Naminsky's down. Mm, they're all over there on Blaze. I'm about to die. There we go. Nice. Call. Anti, I like your buzzwool. Don't worry, I like I like playing all the people I'm used to playing with. I like your mons too, but I haven't seen I haven't really seen Anti's buzzwool much. I'm just enjoying the movie right now. You gotta go do something, just kick you from the lobby? Alright. You threw big rocks from the sky, that's what, uh, that's what Maridon does. GG's everybody. Yo, I was kind of not good.
You gotta go eat. All right. I'll probably Metagross this time. Time to try the other move set. I mean, Nemensky, <clears throat> you kind of left me unable to assist you there because you took most of the farm. So I had to sit back and farm. I couldn't push with you. If we had split the farm in the lane, I would have been able to push with you. And then you wouldn't have maybe got a KO. Just something to keep in mind. Ended up using my ability the wrong way. The uh, hydro pump. Yeah, Splat, I don't know if you heard, but I'm going to go until Phil starts stream, and then we'll just take my viewership into to Phil's stream. That's my intention here. So we got, like, 27 minutes.
kind of hard to defend against three as War Turtle and then contest farm. <laughs> like, I think I'm doing as good as I can. But I'm not as fluent. Like, definitely I'm most fluent on Scizor, obviously. But uh, I think I'm fluent enough on Blastoise. So, like, I got a green on it. But I would say my Blastoise play is all based on what I've watched Phil do. But even then, I'm not nowhere near to that level yet. I don't think I've died, so there's that. Maybe it took me a little bit long to get to Blastoise, but I don't think I have died this match. Yeah, like, the Cinder is, like, tr asking for trouble. Like, that push isn't worth it. I only have six. <clears throat> and then Bro's out of there. He had a 40. There is a score. Like, he could insta. I'm just going to unite. I missed the hydro one. There we go. Talk about this being a bad idea, and then I'm still over here. Yep, I'm in trouble. Maybe not. I'm not. I got out. I really shouldn't use the eject button for movement like that. I should really use it for comboing. I'm live critiquing myself. Oh, oh, nope. I go down. Bro missed his yawn. It's gonna be a while before you have that again. <laughs> Thank you, Stonks, for the assistance. I'm getting out of that. No, I'm not getting out of that. I stayed too long. The 
All right, get my 40 in. They're counter scoring. Can waste their time here. All right, no bro unite. Oh, thanks, Jaybird. This is what I thought. This is why I was looking at Cinderace. Then I was like, I don't want to watch Cinderace farm, but I, I kind of suspected that <clears throat> something was going to be in the... Scooping up the points and approaching through the center. I didn't even full combo that thing. I just walled it, watched it die. You have to go after the match. Okay, stonks. Later, stonks. Thanks for joining. You just came into a nasty Surf Hydro combo? Yeah, I was, you know. <laughs> that that Snorlax was like thirsting after me for most of the match and I felt kind of good, not gonna lie. Also, welcome in, Latius. Yeah, the, yep. Those arm cannons. It got drenched for sure. I gotta get somebody else in here. Guy's gonna just leave me with Naminsky like this. Uh, later, stonks. We probably got time for uh, Naminsky left. Thanks for joining, Naminsky. I was going to try to wait for one other person to join. I think we got time for one more. Yeah, I'll be left with him. I guess I'm soloing it. Unless somebody wants to, to join. There's like... 18 minutes until Phil starts stream, then I'll be ending stream and sending us there. You're messing around with a funny build with Machamp. It's just kind of casual, laid back, remote today. I grinded, uh, let's see. I don't know if you were here from the beginning, Latios, so I'll just show it again. So number seven is, they have a hundred more wins than me, but my win rate uh, is higher, so I'm above. And I'm trying to keep them within a hundred, so I got there, and that was the goal. So now I'm just kind of, I'm whatever now. I did Leafeon, uh, and then I just did Blastoise there. Oh, thanks, Latios. I guess I could end on Scizor. 
Let's see, Latios is laning. And he's got an experience share. Or I guess they left for the Leafeon. Hmm. I don't know, maybe Blaziken wants jungle and then I could be I'll just do Blastoise again maybe or Gudra. I'll do Blastoise. Blaziken should be in the jungle. And I don't wanna force Latios to having lane uh Blaze, um, Torchic with him. So I'll, de I'll defend her with you, Latios. Yeah, I know. I, I just don't like the looks. Like, if I'm gonna rock Scizor... Like, look at this freaking thing. They just have their own idea. <laughs> and now, and now Latios is jungle. <laughs> Yo, nobody, nobody look at that missed water gun. I need to get better with my aiming. I, I should have probably just backed off. I wonder if I should run um, Rapid Spin and Water Spout this time. Where's Blaziken? I feel like Blaziken's good with that, but I'm going to try it. that one too. Dang. I blame this on the scissor matches I was running. I really need to evolve. God. 
gosh. Stun, 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 stun. Alright, I'm gonna... Focus on evolving. Okay. Darn. Well, that was a better engagement. Kind of united to avoid CC there. It still didn't work out for me though. I probably should have been bot with Latios, but I I I, I, didn't, I was trying to avoid this. Yeah, this, the Sableye can be good. A lot of people forget that Sableye's CC is, like, really good. They just think it's trash. And, it, I mean, it kind of is. But Sableye can be really good. I'll look at here. Good grief. Well, I just exhausted everything. <laughs> I think we win this. I, I, I mean, if we win the fight, we can. Yeah, I agree. I just think we need to push some kind of score. Headed bottom. I'm just under leveled right now. Does that 40 get in seriously? That's good. Alright. Zapdos is at half. Very 
very nice. Get off of me. Okay. Bro's just harassing me with that slowing. He wants me to give a crap about him, but I'm after the Sableye who's going to look to back cap. This is what hyper aggro gets you. Hello, Dark. Thank you for popping Phil's uh, stream link in. Yeah, no, I didn't. I was I was looking to lane with you from the start, Latios, and so we were just kind of... That Blaziken had its own idea of what it wanted to do. And I mean, our stats d look abysmal as, in comparison, but like... I, th I feel like you and I just knew what we needed to do to win. So, you know, like, they may have won the battles, but they didn't win the war. And that's what good, uh, like, it's kind of crazy I got level 14. I was highly under-leveled. I think, like, less than a minute before a, uh, two minutes, I was at level 10. It was horrible. And, like, I finish at level 14. It's pretty good. I think our play and our fundamentals is what carried, even though our stats wouldn't. Um... Yeah. Well, Dark, uh, I would love to play with you. But unfortunately, Phil Umis is about to start streaming, and I mod uh, Phil Umis's streams, so I, um, I I don't look to stream at the same time. I want to synergize with Phil, not uh, work against each other. Yeah, I felt like I felt like the Shandy was like I also intuitively decided to go rapid spin uh, and uh, water spout, which I normally don't do on Blastoise. I'm normally hydro pump surf. Uh, something was telling me I needed to be able to dive them, um, and I'm not sure if that's how accurate that is, but. Um, so we were kind of playing with, uh, we were kind of going uphill from the beginning. Definitely, like, we wanted to lane together. I chose Defender to complement your choice, and instead I got Blaziken doing what Blaziken was doing. And, I mean, his stats were fine, but they don't say how he affected the game early. <sighs> Yeah, and then Mamoswine stunning on top of Sableye stunning. Like, they were just spamming stun and then setting up the, uh, the kills. Yeah, it's all good, Latios. I'm just happy I won with you. Because I remember being in your stream and losing with Pikachu, and that wasn't a good look. So, I'm glad I got a win with you. I would I would say our fundamentals carried that match, not that Blaziken. Like I okay, so specifically at the two minute fight with Zapdos, like you went down, but I stayed up and I set up a lot of kills for the next person that came in, 
And then, like, we were offset of each other, so we were able to kind of juggle Zapdos, and I think that was kind of... Yeah, it is what it is. I don't really care about losing either. And I also look to have fun. But... Yeah, anyways. Phil's stream is officially started. Uh, Fiend, if you're still in here, or Splat, if somebody could share the link. I'm not sure how my YouTube is acting, but... Um, Like, I've tried to set it up so I can do the raid thing, and I don't know why it's not allowing me to do it. So, it's either I need, I'm need i missing something, or YouTube was just glitched on my end, or that I need to be monetized. I'm not quite sure which one of those three it is. But, um, with that, I'm... I'm, uh, we're done here for today. I reached my goal. I got within, uh, 100 wins from 7th. Um, he needs like 200 something to pass me. So if I keep him within a hundred like this, then I'm staying at a good pace. Um, as you see, it's going to be a while before I jump to five. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, I appreciate everybody who joined the stream and played matches with me today. I hope everybody will, uh, come join me in Phil's stream now. If I could get the link, let me, I'm going to, yeah, GG's Latios. Thank you for coming in too. I'm going to get the uh, link. Give me one second. And Dark, uh, sorry you joined late, but uh, just, uh, you know, catch me on the next stream. All right, there's a. Uh... No, I don't. I didn't mind the funny build. No, it's all good. I trust. I trust you. But yeah, thank you, everybody. Uh, please go support Phil. I'm gonna be modding over there with Splat. Anyways, I appreciate everybody. Thank you. Good night. God bless.